basic things in, in humans, you know, fears, fear of pain, fear of dying, and, and fear of Borello, the Marina Abramov, Abramovich Supporter Circle, the Sean Kelly Gallery, Listen Gallery, and finally... That artists don't think linear. Artists think in the circles. Artists think in eclipses. Sometimes you have some ideas when you, in, in early 60s, when you're very, very young, and then same idea appear 30 years later, in completely different context, with a different awareness, and with a different uh, the kind of knowledge. And then you, you address this idea, and that's what we are doing here. We are missing the, the works, we are missing the, 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 the dates of what was made. And this makes the exhibition very life. It's true, we have not really here at the Royal Academy done much with performance art in the past, so it is a whole new chapter also for us uh, to do this. Um, and of course, it's a great honor to be able to do this with Marina Abramovich, who is one of the great pioneers of performance art. Now, th what's new about this is that, of course, Marina will not be performing those extremely demanding performances herself anymore. Um, but is handing the baton over, as it were, to the next generation of young performance artists who are re-performing her performances. So Marina Abramovich is a pioneer in performance art, but it's very hard to kind of capture the viscerality and the rawness of her work, but you still manage to come through. There are elements here that make you wince, even though it's not happening in front of your eyes, when you see that she's like stabbed her hand or is screaming as loud as she can, which makes you think it would have been even more powerful when you saw it in person. So they're trying to capture that sense of performance by only having limited performances in the space, but it still manages to convey the power of her work.
I followed a lot of her, uh, Marina Abramovich's work and there are a lot of the key works are on display. Okay, it may not be the work itself, it may be a video of the work or photos of the work, but they do convey that sense of what it was like for those works to occur and how important they were to her and how much she gave to her performances. You can see she really puts her body on the line in a lot of her works and that's what makes them so powerful. Thank you. 